Hello everybody and welcome to my video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be breaking down Michigan State's 2020 football schedule. Sparty last year went 7-6 and six overall, 6-6 six and six during the regular season. They got a nice bowl win against Wake Forest in the Pinstripe Bowl. Overall though, it was a step back uh, from years prior. You know, with Mark D'Antonio, Michigan State had a whole lot of success. They had won Big Ten Championships. They had won Rose Bowl before against Stanford. They had done a lot of stuff under D'Antonio. Been ranked most years, you know, under his tenure. Uh, but unfortunately for uh, Michigan State, his tenure finally came to an end uh, after this year. This uh, pat this off season, he uh, decided to uh, resign from Michigan State. Uh, you know. Whether that had to do with like the sanctions and stuff that might be coming from Michigan State or the scandals there, I don't know. Uh, but he decided to resign, so he's not not lo he's no longer going to be there with Michigan State. Mel Tucker from Colorado is the new head coach, so a lot of interesting things uh, definitely happening around Michigan State. It should be interesting to see how they do this upcoming season. Their recruiting class, it's okay, not very special, and their talent that they already have. Again, okay, not really special, not a great offense in my opinion. Uh, and their schedule is brutal. You can argue it's the toughest schedule in all of college football. So I decided I would break down their schedule. Uh, Going to get right into it, waste no time. Number one, Northwestern. I think that's an easy win. Northwestern might improve a little bit, but that's going to be an easy one in my opinion still. At BYU, this isn't an easy game. BYU is a decent team year in and year out. They're always bowl eligible, it feels like, in my opinion. You know, they're still a pretty relevant independent school. Uh, so I think this could be close. It really could go either way, in my opinion. I would give the favor. I would favor Michigan State, but BYU could definitely win this one. I mean, they beat Boise State. They've beaten boy good teams before, so... I wouldn't be shocked if BYU wins this one. Toledo, easy win there. They'll get that one done. For Miami, Florida. So, this one's interesting. This might be where game day goes that week. That would be, be an interesting site for game day. So, Miami isn't a great program either right now. They're definitely in their down years, in my opinion. You know, I really just don't think Manny Dyes is a great coach. But you looking at their schedule, I think Miami can be an 18th eight win team next year so it's going to be interesting to see what happens i definitely feel like they're going to improve a little bit they have to miami considering they're going to have dear king at quarterback you know their defense is still pretty good and ed reed's going to be helping out around there so they have to be better they have the talent you know i just feel like their offensive line just really the whole offense last year was pretty inexperienced in my opinion i think that definitely hurt but the defense was great uh so it's going to be interesting Michigan State's at home. I think it's a close one. You know, it's another pos it's another really 50-50 ball game. I'm going to give the edge to Michigan State again, but Miami definitely could win this game. They're a pretty good football team. I like their defense, and I think their offense will improve. And Ed Reed's pre presence definitely helps. But it is in Michigan State. I'll take Spartans here, just in a very close one, though. At Iowa, that's going to be a loss. You know, Iowa's losing a lot of key pieces, but it's in Kinnick, and they still have a little bit more weapons than Michigan State does. Uh, so I'll take Iowa here, and they've got a great head coach as well. Six, Michigan, it's not happening this year. Uh, Spartans fans got to be aware that they're, they're going to get called little brother again. It's just It is what it is. Uh, Michigan's just a much better football team right now. Seven, Ohio State, I don't think this will happen. You know, it's... It's in Michigan State, or it's at e at East Lansing, uh, but still, you know, Ohio State's going to be very good next year. Great on offense, great on defense, better coaching staff. They're just better at pretty much everything uh, that Michigan State is right now, uh, at least in football, in terms of football. So I expect the Buckeyes to win this game, uh, you know, and Michigan State's coming off a tough game against Michigan already and early on in the season game. So they might be tired, might be a little bit banged up, and I don't expect them to have a chance against Ohio State. Eight at Indiana. Interesting one here. I think Indiana is slowly improving every year. I think they're going to be pretty decent next year. Not too many key p pieces leaving. I think it could be close, but I'm actually going to take the Hoosiers here in a close one. I think they're improving uh, slowly in football. So I have the Hoosiers winning, winning this one. So Michigan State drops their fourth in a row or maybe their fifth. Minnesota. Minnesota looks really good next year. P.J. Fleck at head coach. He's returning. Tanner Morgan at quarterback. He's returning. Rashad Bateman at wide receiver. He's returning. And you've got a decent run game with Muhammad Ibrahim. They're going to be a pretty good football team next year, in my opinion. I have the Go Gophers winning this one. Bye week? You know, 
get some rest finally after a very tough stretch. I mean, that that six-game stretch from Miami to Minnesota is absolutely brutal. So that's good that they get they finally get their break. At Penn State, you know, that's not an easy one to start out with after your break. Uh, Penn State's going to be in the hunt at this point, I think. Uh, at least probably if they have one loss. They might lose to Michigan, too. So they might have two losses coming into this game. Uh, so they're going to be in the hunt, Penn State. Uh, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't imagine... Uh, the Nittany Lions losing to Michigan State, especially at home. A uh, big game for the Nittany Lions. I'll take Penn State here. Rutgers, there's your win. You finally get another win. Uh, you know, Rutgers isn't going to beat Michigan State anytime soon. So there's your win. 13 at Maryland. Maryland nearly beat Michigan State last year. It was very close. Michigan State needed a win against Maryland to be bowl eligible. They barely beat them at home. This upcoming season, I expect Michigan State to beat Maryland. But you know, it, it could be close again. You don't know. I think I think Maryland's got a great wide receiver uh, coming in. He's going to be a true freshman. He one of the be- one of the best wide receiver recruits in the nation. So that might help Maryland. Uh, but expect Michigan State to win in a close one. So overall, I have them at five and seven. It could also be six and six. The difference between five and seven and six and six is a big difference. Listen, this is nothing. I'm not against Michigan State or anything like that. You know, I'm just being honest here. Their schedule, in my opinion, is actually the hardest in college football. I think it's ranked the hardest in college football according to many websites. Uh, you know, just that stretch. I would have. Minnesota, even Penn State, those are like five or six guaranteed losses right there. I don't even, I don't think they'll win any of them. So that's six losses, and there's the possibility of getting upset against Maryland. BYU might be a loss. Miami might be a loss. Although I would favor them in all of those games, but they might drop one of those. So overall, five and seven. It could be six and six, but I'm at five and seven right now. Just a brutal schedule. They, in my opinion, had an easier schedule last year, and they only went 6-6 six and six and barely were bowl eligible, losing a Hall of Fame head coach, in my opinion. I think it's going to hurt them quite a lot. You know, just not a great uh, year, in my opinion, for Michigan State football. They have a lot of other issues uh, right now that they have to deal with. I don't think it's going to be very great. Uh, so I have Sparty going 5-7. and seven. It could be 6-6. Six and six. I don't think it's going to be a very good season for them, though. But that is it for now. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out all my other videos.